Welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah. This is Hannah and her habitat. Today I am getting ready to have people over to have a little campfire and a little cookout. I have finally gotten the camper ready inside and outside as ready as it's ever going to be. So I'm ready to host some people. The weather finally dropped a little bit in Texas so it is the perfect temperature. It's about 60 degrees today. I do have to go and buy a campfire pit because usually campgrounds have them at each campsite but this one only has them at each end site and I didn't want to be on the end. So I gotta go out and get one. So come along on this little journey. I went and saw a few patients this morning. So I was in a bit of a rush to get go and buy a campfire pit and to set it up. I had 20 minutes exactly and I was determined to have it ready by the time everybody got there. So because I was rushing, of course, I made a million mistakes and it ended up taking that much longer, but that's okay. I did love this one. It is from Academy. I looked at Walmart to see what they had but Walmart only had ones that were like brown and brassy looking and outside my camper is a whole kind of black and white theme so I wanted one to match that and definitely not clash so that's why I went with this one if you ever buy a camper I highly suggest having a good set of tools because this fire pit didn't come with any of the tools that I needed to set it up and I was very thankful to have my drill because that made it way faster than only having a screwdriver. Hindsight is 2020, but can anybody look and see what big mistake is going to happen by the end of the evening? Stay tuned to the end. Did you know they make marshmallow, s'more sized marshmallows? They do. They're perfect. Square. Considered a charcuterie board. I don't even know how to say that. I don't think I said that right. That's as close as I'll get to making one. The best hot dogs. That's what happens when you try to put too many things in a cabinet. It all comes tumbling down. <laughs> No worries. You can put it back. I try to keep it organized up there. But still, things fall all the time. How you cheat when making a fire. You get the fire starter logs. Oh yeah. The mosquitoes are so so bad in Texas. I get eaten alive outside. So 
bought some candles to try to help that situation. fabulous evening filled with food and fellowship with wonderful wonderful friends all right time for the bloopers you want to know what happens when you're in a rush and don't think things through this this happens I cannot tell I'll give you another view which Duh, I should have put something under it, but I was rushing and I didn't even think about it. So, I don't know that y'all understand how long it took me to find a outdoor mat that I liked. Because I say they make them very retiree looking. They're always weird patterns, so it took me a while to find a cute little modern one that I liked, but it's okay. It can be replaced or I just leave it and, you know, put concrete under it or just move the fire pit to the concrete. But now it kind of has to stay in that spot to cover up the spot that it burnt a hole through. <laughs> Way to go, Hannah. A++. But still got a nice view, so look on the bright side. A little update here. I thought about it for a couple days and my type A perfectionist self had to order a new rug. So I am getting a new one. I don't know what I'll do with the old one. I might fold it up and put it along the other side of my camper where the picnic table is. So we shall see. Thanks for watching another video. See you next time.